Hey, I'm Courtney Waterman, your tutor. Lover of anime, manga, and math. And you just tuned into another session of Tutor Me Senpai. Welcome back, everyone. Today we're jumping into a fourth grade topic, making your angles using your protractor. Now, if you're new to my channel, I'll be putting time codes in for this video in the description box below. So use that to skip ahead to whatever part of the video you think is most interesting. As always, if you have any questions about what we see today or even your own homework, you can always visit my Facebook page at Tutumi Senpai and tell me all about it there. Today's video is only going to have one part, so leave a like, smash the subscribe button, and let's get started! So in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to make your angles using your protractor. And this is actually not going to be terribly difficult. In fact, on this channel, we've already talked about how to measure our angles using our protractors. So if you tuned in with me when we talked about that, this video should look very, very similar. And today I'm going to be using this online interactive tool to show you the simple steps that you need to follow in order to draw your angles using your protractor. For all those interested in this tool, I'll put the link to it in the description box below. So the first thing you want to do when you're trying to draw your angles is to figure out what type of angle you're trying to draw. So let's say for this question, we have a 50 degree angle that we're trying to draw, a 50 degree angle, and we have our protractor, we have paper, pencil, whatever else we need, and we're just trying to draw this. That's what our homework tells us to do. Well, the first thing you wanna do is get that pencil out and get a straight edge, whether it be a ruler, your protractor, or something else, get a straight edge, and you wanna make a horizontal line, a straight horizontal line, as straight as you can possibly make it. This horizontal line is going to be your ray. This is your bottom ray for your angle. So once you have that here, the next thing you want to do is take out your protractor. Once you have your protractor, you want to line it up. So move it and line it up where your starting point, your starting point on your ray is right there in the middle of your protractor. And the line, it should line up pretty much exactly on where your degrees start on your protractor. Now you don't want to line it up like this. You see, our, our degrees don't even start down here. So there's no point in lining this up like this and you're already off. You can kind of see it visually. You want to line it up, line it up so that our ray is hitting where our degrees are beginning on our protractor. Once we have this all lined up, now we want to count up to the degree that we're trying to draw. So we said we were trying to draw a 50 degree angle here. So we want to count up starting from where our arrow is on our ray, counting up to 50. Now, do we use the outside numbers or the inside numbers? Well, in this case, we're not going to use the outside numbers because that starts at 180. And that's not going to help us count up to 50. If you start at 180, you can't count up to 50. So we're going to use our inside numbers starting here at 0 and going up to 50. So 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Now that we're at 50, depending on how your protractor looks, you may have a space in here, but it doesn't really matter if you do or don't, as long as you do this next step in which you're drawing a mark that pretty much lines up exactly what this 50 and 130 is. So if you have a space here where you could do it right on your 50, sure, use that. But at the very least, make this mark just like that, we see this 50 and 130 kind of line up on this big line. That's exactly what you want to do. Act as if you're extending that line, and if you were to keep drawing it straight, it would hit 50. Now you could put an X here, a dot here, a line here, it doesn't really matter, as long as you're putting some type of mark so you know that this is where your 50 degree angle line should go. Now that we have our mark here, we want to remove our protractor. We don't want the protractor there anymore. What you're going to do now is take your straight edge, whether it be your ruler, the straight edge of your protractor, or something else, and you're gonna pretty much draw a straight line from this point to the starting point of your ray down here. So make a straight line going from here to your dot, your line, or your X. Now you wanna make that into your ray, and then you wanna make sure that this angle that we just drew is indeed a 50 degree angle 
by throwing our protractor back on top. Does our straight line directly intersect that 50? If so, we've made a 50 degree angle. And it looks like we in fact have made a 50 degree angle. That's all you have to do when you're drawing your angles using your protractor. Have your straight line, then you're gonna be counting up to the angle that you're trying to get to. Make your mark, use your straight edge to connect your bottom ray with your mark, and that's all you have to do. Let's do one more example. This time, we're gonna make a bigger angle, and instead of starting with our ray pointing to the right, we're gonna start with our ray pointing to the left. And see, are we gonna do anything different? So for this example, we wanna make a 110 degree angle here. And like I said, we want to start with an arrow pointing to the left this time. So we're still gonna make our straight line completely horizontal as much as you can using your straight edge, ruler, protractor, something else. This is going to be our ray. This time it's pointing to the left. We're gonna take out our handy dandy protractor and line up our starting point of our ray with the middle of our protractor, just like this. If you need to rotate your protractor, make sure you're doing it so that your line, your ray, starts where your angles start on your protractor. Now, we're gonna count up to 110, but this time, are we using the outside numbers or the inside numbers? Well, this time we're gonna use the outside numbers because the inside numbers start at 180, and you can't count up to 110 starting at 180. So, we're starting at zero, and we're gonna count up to 110 degrees. Zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 and 110. Now we're gonna make a mark. This is 110, we're right here. Whether it be a dot, a mark, a line, whatever you wanna put here, just make sure you have something here that shows you where you are at 110. Now, remove your protractor and make a straight line from the starting point of your right here, starting point of that right here, all the way to that dot mark line that you made here. So after you have that, make that into a ray and this angle here should be 110 degrees. Notice it's not this angle over here. We don't really care about that. This doesn't pretty much exist for this example. It doesn't matter what's happening here. What we are more concerned of is this angle here. So let's throw our protractor back on top. And are we in fact 110 degrees? Yes, we are. We are in fact 110 degrees. From here to here, we're exactly lining up with that 110. And that's how you're going to draw your 110 degree angle. So I hope you were able to follow along with today's video. And I hope you see that making your angles using your protractor it's actually pretty simple as long as you follow those simple steps. However, if you have any questions about what you see today or even your own homework, you can always visit my Facebook page at Tumi Senpai and tell me all about it there. If you hadn't done so already, remember to do that like. It surely helps the channel by letting YouTube know that you will find a video helpful. And if you find a video helpful, so can someone else. So leave a like, hit the notification bell, smash the subscribe button, and share the video with a friend. Well, that's all the time I have for today. I'm really hoping this helped with your homework. I'm looking forward to seeing you again next week. I'm Courtney, and this has been another session of Tutor Me Simpa.